Hello everyone and welcome back to another Star Wars figure review. In today's review we're going to take a look at a figure from Star Wars Episode 7, The Force Awakens. This time around it's a figure from the Armour Up series of figures. Um, to be honest with you, um, I'm not a massive fan of the Armour Up uh, figures. Um, I think they're very clever on how they're made and obviously the extra bit of armour they have but to be honest it's not really my cup of tea but um, I was happy to pick up a figure from the um, Armour Up uh, series of figures and um, last Saturday I went to a Star Wars shop here in the United Kingdom and um, it's just a massive shop, just a small shop with full of Star Wars products, it's absolutely brilliant and obviously you guys will absolutely love it I loved it as soon as I walked in there and um, there's obviously stock of figures are excellent they've got all the figures from The Force Awakens, Rebels you name it, they've got it and I was really impressed and the figure that I'm going to give you a look at today is the Resistance pilot himself it is Poe Dameron from Star Wars Episode 7 The Force Awakens Now I was really pleased to get this in the Star Wars Bentle shop here in the United Kingdom unfortunately that Star Wars Bentle shop will be closing on the 31st of January so if you're here in the United Kingdom now or you're coming over for a couple of days and you're mad about Star Wars try and get over there because it's absolutely brilliant so this is Poe Dameron. We're going to take a look at this guy in more detail, but first we're going to take a look at the packaging that this guy comes in. As you see, this is the Armour Up um, packaging like so. As you see, it's very nice indeed. Obviously, you know I'm a massive fan of the Star Wars Episode 7 Force Awakens packaging. Obviously, at the top you've got the image of Star Wars The Force Awakens logo. You've got an image of Kylo Ren and the price that I paid for this guy. I did indeed pay £10.99. There's a very cool image of Oscar Isaac, the actor who plays Poe Dameron. You've got an image of the armour that comes with it. On the back, you've got obviously the four other figures in the way. So you've got Bubba Fett, Finn, the First Order Flamethrower and Chewbacca. And also at the side, this is from the Space... Uh, mission of figures like so. Um, going back to obviously the Armour Up series figure, a standard build a weapon figure that obviously I've got on my shelves there um, costs you £9.99 here in the United Kingdom and if you want to get an Armour Up uh, figure they cost £10.99 so we're paying a pound extra but to be honest you shouldn't really pay a pound extra I mean the only reason I think you're paying a pound extra is for the packaging. I mean, if I go to the figure, look, it's the same amount of plastic, but we're just paying an extra, extra pound. And I think in the United States, you you pay $6.99 for one of these guys. Uh, sorry, a build, build a weapon figure. But for one of these guys, you pay $13, which is an absolute ridiculous price in my opinion. And to be honest, I won't pay for that. So unfortunately that's the way money works now so yeah can't do anything about it so this is the uh, Poe Dameron packaging hope you've uh, got a good glimpse of that I love the artwork brilliant so let's take a look at the figure in more detail or as you see and we know now that Poe Dameron is a resistance fighter from Star Wars Episode 7 The Force Awakens he is one of the heroes from The Force Awakens and to be honest, he's such a great pilot. I mean, when I first saw him in the film, he was fantastic. Love him. So we're going to take a zoom in on his armour that comes with the figure. As you see, he's got standard um, resistance pilot helmet as well. Obviously, this is supported by an oxygen mask and an oxygen support chest as well. On the back, you've got a couple of jetpacks as well, so if he's in trouble, he can fly off. Obviously, you've got the resistance logo on the helmet like so and you have a yellow visor as well it's sculpted in a blue and white plastic as well he comes with a really cool rifle that we see in the film we did see Poe Dameron take a couple of first order stormtroopers out of this and it's such a cool weapon 
So that's the uh, armour up that comes with the uh, figure. If you just remove that like so, you get Poe Dameron underneath. <laughs> so this is Poe Dameron played by the actor Oscar Isaac. Excellent in The Force Awakens by far. As you see, uh, Poe Dameron, he does come with a swivel left arm, a swivel right arm, a swivel left leg and a swivel right leg. He also comes with a swivel head as well. And he comes with his very cool resistance jacket like so. Um, we do see in the film that uh, obviously Finn helps Poe escape. They obviously take a first order TIE fighter and they obviously get shot and they crash on the planet Jakku and we see Finn take Poe's jacket. But it's a really really nice jacket. Obviously he does come with his uh, green trousers as well and his black boots which is very cool. And the thing I love about The Force Awakens is we see Finn and Poe have a good friendship and he's such a cool character, Finn and Poe. They're a good pair. <laughs> but yeah, I love the Resistance jacket. Absolutely brilliant. And The Force Awakens is brilliant as well. But overall, I'm very impressed with this figure. So this has been Poe Dameron from Star Wars Episode 7. The Force Awakens. I hope you've enjoyed this review and I'll be back with another Star Wars review very soon. In my next review I will be giving you a look at the first order TIE Fighter that I picked up at my local Tesco store. I did indeed get that um, vehicle for a bargain. Instead of paying £20 I paid a tenner so result. So I hope you've enjoyed this review and I'll be back with another Star Wars review very soon. If you haven't done this already, please don't hesitate to subscribe to my channel. And until next time, thank you for watching, keep collecting, and may the force be with you.